And we welcome you back uh, on what seems like a pretty calm Monday. Uh, anything but that on Saturday night, one of the great scenes in recent Tiger Stadium history as LSU pulls it off somehow, some way in overtime to knock off Ole Miss. Uh, Coach Kelly, welcome uh, back to the show. You didn't lead until uh, well, you weren't even in. Really, uh, you didn't lead or, or were tied until the end of the game. You won in overtime. I, I know you've had many games that uh, took your breath away and raised your blood pressure, but this one has to be on your uh, all-time list. Yeah, I mean, look, the the game is such that you know you you need to you know you need to keep fighting right to the very end, right? I think this is. Uh, uh, one of those games where you know you had two really good football teams and you could see the plays that were being made you just had a sense that you just needed to keep playing and here's the throw by Nuss Meyer that uh, you know that just the trust throw and then we had a shot here at the end and as you mentioned Paul this is the only time we led uh, we led for one second and that's all we needed was one second to win the game so you know, it's it just goes to uh, you. You got to close. You got to finish. And you know, in this instance, uh, you know, we held uh, a really, really good offense uh, and and Ole Miss to no touchdowns uh, in the second half and in overtime, which gave us a chance. And and we scored a couple touchdowns, and that was the difference. So when you have two really good teams, there's got to be a decider, and that was. Uh, kicking field goals versus scoring touchdowns. And let's stay on the defensive side because we've, we've had too many conversations and you've had more than that uh, about uh, shoring up this defense even after losing Harold Perkins. Uh, explain uh, what you saw out there uh, versus uh, the game plan going in on the defensive side. It looked like it, it worked mostly well in the second half at least. Yes. So, you know, first and foremost, the, the basic tenets of defense have not changed. And, and that is, you know, you've got to tackle in space. Uh, you've got to be able to uh, control running lanes and, and you've got to get after the quarterback. We, we sacked the quarterback six times. The quarterback had not been sacked that much. So disrupting the quarterback, tackling in space, uh, the basic tenets of, of good college defense or and defense anywhere. Uh, we weren't doing that. And, you know, we brought in Blake, we brought in a new defensive staff, and we felt like we were going to develop the players, uh, but bring in new leadership. That's that's the direction that I chose to go. And, and it's starting to pay off. These guys are going to be here. We're playing six and seven young freshmen on defense, uh, but we've got the right leadership and they're going to continue to get better. And let's, uh, let's, let's talk about uh, the game flow and – you do, you're, you're prepared. You, you try to start the game as quickly as possible. Ole Miss plays very well. Uh, as this game was unfolding, uh, take us through your mindset uh, because you, you never you never seem to waver uh, in terms of what you were trying to accomplish. Well, really, the most important thing for us here was that we needed to protect the quarterback. And we, we knew that we were going to get some opportunities, but it was going to be about protection. He, they did not have a sack, and this is a really good defense, and uh, they put together a great defensive uh, team. And But we needed to keep him um, upright, and we needed to give him time because they were playing a lot of two-man. It, it, it requires time to get some receivers open. We were patient in that approach, and, and it – it, it paid off for us. You know, it was late. We had to convert late on some third and fourth down situations, but our, our quarterback is, is confident. Uh, he trusts what he's seeing and what he does. And uh, again, uh, it started with protection and, and his ability uh, to have time to make some really uh, difficult throws. And let's stay with uh, Nussmeyer for a second, because I mean, there were tough moments. Uh, every quarterback against a really good defense is going to have those, but when it really mattered, uh, he made the moment alive. Yeah, I mean, th this is the fun part, uh, Paul, you know, to watch a kid that, you know, in many instances, you could say he struggled, right? I mean, he threw a couple of interceptions and, you know, may maybe didn't stay within the width of the pocket sometimes, but he comes back on the sideline and all he wants is uh, another chance. Give me the ball. Get, get it back to me. I will... I will lead us. And just a guy that, that that has incredible confidence in his ability and trust what what he's told. And 
it's fun. I mean, it's fun to watch a guy that that is struggling, but he knows he can come out of it. And watching him close out this game was, you know, certainly some of those things that as coaches, uh, you love to see guys persevere. And it it was fun to watch him persevere. Of course, you've been in a number of these games, the first game uh, against SC, but the game I'm really thinking about is against South Carolina, even though it was on the road. I mean, it looked it looked like it was over. Not that this game did, but when you when you go through those experiences, uh, how do you see it paying off, especially uh, in the cauldron of Tiger Stadium as this game was uh, getting close to the end? You, you, you feel it on the sidelines, Paul, you know, with – how the guys talk to each other. You know, Garrett throws an interception after we get the ball on a a fumble, and you don't hear guys going, oh, that darn offense. Man, they're turning it over. What's the deal? You just hear a bunch of defense guys get get together and go, we're going to get the ball back. You know, it's our time. Let's go. And and when you have that kind of uh, belief and, and you have guys that believe that, they're, they're going to find a way to win. Um, it gives you a chance. Now, that, like I said, you know, you, I don't know that you can live this way all the time, but, you know, these guys just have – some teams are different, right? I mean, I haven't had teams that are all the same. They're all – they all have a different way of doing things. This team just believes they're going to find a way to win. And in this instance, they believe because they stay positive and they stay in the moment and they stayed in the moment here and they found a way to win it at the end. You're about to go on the road, which is never easy, but I, I, do, I want to make sure uh, we don't miss out on another part of uh, this win and uh, just watching it, you're, you're coaching it, uh, but it, it, it felt like the fans of Tiger Stadium uh, deserve at least some credit because I mean, they, they were unreal. This was the quintessential Tiger Stadium that people talk about and, and want to experience you know i mean earlier in the year we you know we played a day game and it was about 120 degrees it's a tough environment obviously to get the kind of vibe and feel this is an sec matchup against a a traditional rival uh the atmosphere was electric and uh the fans made it but the teams did too but both teams were were playing so hard that you could feel the energy in the stadium but this is what makes tiger stadium such a unique place to play a football game and 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 they really were part of what happened uh and and really kept us in the game at at, at every step of the uh the 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 quarters the 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 minutes whatever you uh however you put it together they kept us in this game the whole time and uh the great part about playing in the sec that you you're you're all you're back on all these things that you you wanted to be but uh that's the good news uh, the other part of it is you're about to go on the road <laughs> And yeah. uh, that is also the reality of it. No doubt. And that's what I told our team after the game. I said, listen, great victory, great perseverance, but you got Arkansas, uh, at Arkansas. And it, you know, uh, I, I have a great deal of respect for Sam Pittman and what he's done. And, and you know, this football team is playing well. They got a great victory against Tennessee. Uh, their offense and, and Coach Petrino, what they do is uh, – is really really hard to defend uh they're playing great defense so yeah you go on the road and the last four games we played i think have been decided by three points or less so we know the challenges that is in front of us we're gonna have to play really well on the road against a really good arkansas team well close games it's kind of the, the norm this year coach many thanks uh congratulations again we appreciate you coming on thanks paul thanks for having me on there's ryan kelly on a pretty happy monday as opposed to a manic monday which it could have been and looked like it was going to be we'll take a short break